Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to set the yoke on a television set. Now I'm going to be using uh, black and white TVs here, really just for simplicity. Um, just really to give you an idea of uh, how, how these things work. Now I do fully recommend uh, buying or finding one of these uh, Chinese uh, televisions from, oh it's filthy this one. <laughs> Um, from about you may have one lying around or you know, I think uh, I paid ten pounds for this one um, From Bullworths many many years ago, and I think I bought this one from eBay. I think this was eight pounds This that was more recent though um, But yeah, so um, but the real reason for this is just to give you an idea of how uh, televisions work now you'll see here the main part of course is the cathode ray tube itself but the other thing here is this thing now there's a lot of things going on about oh you can't can't touch these this that and the other well yes <laughs> there is a lot of voltage going through this is the uh, high voltage transformer or line output transformer going straight to this to the anode cup in color tvs these are usually on the top although i have seen color tvs where it's on the bottom um yeah <laughs> So, but um, what I'm really going to be concentrating on today, obviously a little bit of safety, so obviously you should not uh, be doing what I'm doing now, because uh, you can get a nasty jolt even when this thing hasn't been powered up for quite some time. But of course, what you can see here is the yoke. Now, this is, as the name suggests, obviously the centre thing here, you know, if you think of an egg yolk, although it is spelt differently. But yeah, if you have a good look here, you can see that this is an electromagnet and what that does really is just control the, the beam or you know the cathode whatever you want to call it coming from the back here and to scan the uh, the screen so yeah now i do recommend if you want to have have a go at aligning the yoke yourself obviously the first thing you're going to need is obviously one of these and uh, maybe some gloves as well, because it can get uh, a little bit tingly with these ones. Um, yeah, but the, I mean, the same principles really applies for colour televisions as well. But um, I'll, that's something I'll, I'll cover probably in a later video there. Now, um, but yeah. So that's what you need really, just one of these. Now, for clarity in the video, I'm going to be using this one. This is my 1972 Toshiba 12SB. Um, you can tell this is a, a UK model because it's got the UHF and the big space where the VHF was. But, uh, oh, you can see me. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, I shall just jump cut here. Um, I shall take this apart and we'll pick it up from there. Well, this is just warming up because I like to warm them up for about 30 minutes prior to any sort of alignment. Um, I'll just show you what I'm going to be using. I'm going to use, be using my... 1980 Atari 2600. I know it's technically a v, VCS, but uh, I refuse to have anything to do with uh, Atari now that they're called the new console, the VCS. But uh, yeah, and I'm going to be using a PAL version of Combat because this is a PAL machine, and obviously this is a UK television, so well UK market television anyway. Uh, just ignore this. Uh, this is just the what I use to power it because I, I like to monitor obviously the voltage and current. So, um, right, we'll get there. First things first, before you do anything, just mark exactly where everything is using a Sharpie. You don't have to do this, but if, I, if you muck it up, if I muck it up, whatever, at least we know where we start. So, yep, so that's marked on there, we'll just Mark these as well. This is really difficult, by the way, when you're just doing it one-handed with the other thing. Yeah. So, that's marked. Um, if you look here, actually, this is very interesting. Normally, yeah, you can see the life, what sort of life the TV's had by looking at the cathode here. Um, and I don't know if you can see... see if no, I don't think my camera... I don't think my phone's going to pick this up. But yeah, there is actually some markings on there. And that's, that appears to be some factory markings. Somebody has written something on 
on there. I can definitely see a number eight or an eighteen on the two, but yeah. Can you see? Nope. Oh well, fair enough. Anyway, but uh, yeah, as you can see, this is uh, fairly similar layout. Although I will say this is quite a much older, much much more old-fashioned sort of layout there of the line output transformer. I will say when these have been used for hundreds of hours, probably thousands of hours even, these this rubber tire as it were has a tendency to melt. Um, but as you can see, it's pretty intact here, and it's uh, and the cathode there is nice and shiny. If that was like sort of discoloured, like sort of a dull purple colour, or you know, that then this TV probably would have had a, quite a few hours on it. Hello, focus. There you are. Yeah, but um, as you can see, it's uh, pretty straightforward. So I'm going to start by loosening this off, and I'm going to put the camera down to do that, and then we'll start from there. Okay, so let's have a look here. Now, as you can see, uh, we've already got a few problems here with the screen not uh, not totally filling this up. Um, so let's uh, switch on the Atari and see what we've got. In fact, let's just... Okay. Now, the reason I use combat, as you can probably see, is that it gives you a good sort of a indication of where the where the screen is or where the screen needs to be um, and it, as you can see there it's sort of running off a bit there um, so what I'm going to do is now I've, I should point out as well I've got the um, the Tari set the color as well because if I put it on black and white it's not as clear uh, but yeah with color as you can see it's all that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this this yoke Bit. In fact, uh, I'll show you how things are here, first of all. Yeah, so that's the yolk there. And uh, what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to show you, you can you can indeed move it, but like I say, you definitely will need to wear gloves for this. But yes, you can rotate it, you can move it forward, backwards and all that. You are better off doing this with two hands, so I'm just really just giving you an idea of what's this, but yep, like I say, wear gloves because otherwise you will get a lovely tingle from uh, the connectors here. So, uh, yeah, okay. See, I've actually made, made that worse there, uh, showing you. Hang on a sec, let's uh, start moving it and see what uh, we've got here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Now you'll notice as I move the, the yoke back, it actually occupies less of the screen. So um, yeah, so I need to move that forward a bit until we're actually in. Oh, there we go. I hear a clunk. Uh, how are we doing there? Let's have a... Yeah, that's all right. I'm just going to see if I can turn the. Uh... Where has it gone? All right. Just gonna see if I can make that fit in there a bit better. Or is that all right? Let's have a now on the back here. Oop, there we go. On the back here as well. There's also um, some other adjustments uh, on the back of this yoke. Um, this two metal sliders here, which. Those back there. What about centre, do you reckon? Sometimes you just have to worry, <laughs> you just have to accept that your, your TV's never going to be 100%. So. Hmm. What was that about? Right. Yeah. How's that looking? And reset. Yeah. How we're looking there? Yeah. I think that's as good as we're going to get, I think. So let's have a. So, yeah. The things I was 
these are actually what I was using to shift the um, the picture sort of left and right. And this down here is actually the volume, the not the volume, the uh, voltage control to the heaters as well. Now this is another thing as well. If the if the screen if everything's cut off, if you reduce the voltage to the heaters a little bit, you can uh, get everything to fit. But uh, yeah, I think that's about as good as we're going to get there. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Still a contrast. It's it, it's an amazing picture though. This if you actually. If my camera ever focuses, focus. You can actually see the individual scan lines. But uh, yeah, so I think that's uh, that's all good. Now, <laughs> a word of warning: when you tighten this up, I will say usually it's uh, it's usually a, a screw. But obviously, this is never ever t over tightening these because you will know about it, and it will be very very expensive. <laughs> Just don't do that. Okay, I think that's. Uh, I think we're all done there. So, yep. Yeah.